everybody, welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim, and what's cooking? Nice uh, shirt. Uh, today uh, we're making three bean chili. It's a vegan version of chili. Um, we've got a whole bunch of ingredients here. We're gonna just kind of put it together. We're making the Pot. It's gonna cook for eight hours. You're just gonna forget about it, and then at the end of the day, you're gonna come home, and it's gonna be ready to eat, right? Yeah. Um, this is a great recipe. I make this every year. Now that it's September in Arizona, and it's Still 100 degrees. Uh, I'm starting to think about fall, right? Fall weather. At least there's pumpkin everywhere. I don't like pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin. But there's pumpkin everywhere. And to me, that's chili time, right? Yeah, I agree. And this is really different than what we normally cook with. I mean, we've got canned things. <gasps> yeah, but. So I make my pinto beans every week from dry. I make my red beans and rice every week from dry. Um, I don't know that it's any cheaper. Uh, these cans of, uh, of kidney beans are 99 cents for a pound, and they're organic, right? So I don't know that my dry, soaking beans overnight is really any cheaper, but I feel better doing it that way. But it, th this is just a good example of what you can do in the morning before work. Just open the cans, they're all organic, and BPA free, throw it in, and it's ready to go. If you have time to cook it from scratch, please go right ahead. You know, uh, I thought when I gave up meat, 12 years ago as a vegetarian, that, you know, chili was gone, right? Um, but I've learned that chili is not about the meat, right? It's, it's about warmth and robust and temperatures changing. A chili is a hearty meal. I mean, you take a spoonful of that, and there's a lot in it, especially this one, too, with all the different beans, right? Do you, like you've had this, do you miss the meat in it? Um, no, but okay. I love that this is ready to go if we decide we're gonna have chili that night or sure. take it for lunch, you know, so. Well, you're not missing anything by, this isn't something you have to give up when you become vegan or vegetarian. Yes. You would absolutely enjoy chili, and to me, it's even be even better. So, all right, let's get started. Yes. Give this a try. What do you already have? What do you think? I, love, I like it a lot. It's got some spice. The texture's all good. Um, I know what's in here, um, and that's like comforting in itself. So I'm ready to bring this to work as a lunch. It's always in the fridge. What do you think? I think it's very flavorful. Um, I wasn't a big chili person growing up, even when I was a meat eater. Yeah. So I personally don't miss anything that's not in here because I never had it in the first place. So to me, it's really, uh, you know, I think like if you're a chili aficionado, that you should really enjoy this. It's got, a, you know, but you can taste the spices in it. You can taste the, you know, the peppers we put in. You can, I mean, you can taste the tomatoes, all the cumin, all that stuff. It's really flavorful, right? And it's still got chunks of color in, yeah. which is one of our goals. And it's, it, it's really good. Um, why don't you tell them, uh, that things didn't go as smooth as we planned. But. Right, so we attempted to cook this in the Instapot. I'm a Crock-Pot person, not an Instapot person. I'm trying to adjust and I'm trying to learn. I'm sure the Instapot has great things about it because I have used it in other recipes. But I put the Instapot on slow cooker, eight hours on lowest setting. And in eight hours, we had very hot chili, but nothing was cooked. So we quick pushed the chili setting, hit go, and it pressure cooked, and it was completely done in 30 minutes, right? So. I would cook this in the insta in the crock pot for eight hours next time because that's how I've always done it, yeah. and it's foolproof, right? It just works. It's it's easy that way. 
you can walk away from it, not worry. Um, but I don't want to dish the innocent pot, right? <laughs> we did put it up 30 minutes and it cooked perfectly. So there is something to be said yeah. for 30 minute pressure cooking. Yeah. Whether that cooked perfectly because it was already hot from the eight hours, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're still getting used to it, the different right. settings and all so, that. So my advice would be, cook this in your slow cooker. It's a tried and true recipe. I've done it many, many times, and it's always perfect. Um, if you're a chili aficionado, try this recipe. I really think you're going to enjoy it, yeah. right? All right, listen, thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you make this, we'd love to hear how it turns out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.